<laughs> He's a professional. Welcome to Curiosity Public. I'm Dutch. Jules here. And a special report. Cue the music. Um, special <laughs> report because there's only two of us? <laughs> well, no. Special report because we're like a week or like three weeks late with our special report as usual. Yeah. But at some point in the last uh, 30 to 60 days, depending on when this gets released, <laughs> the, um, the International Wine and Spirits Competitions. IWSC. Uh, they, according to a Forbes article I read, said that this bourbon was the best bourbon in the world. What? Uh, or the highest scoring bourbon, which... In, which it, makes it the best. It should be the best, right? And this is none other than Colonel E.H. Taylor's single barrel. Look at that. It comes in this amazing canister. I mean, I think if well, I was... they all do. They all do. Every single E.H. <laughs> Taylor does. Um, so what I think makes this so special? It definitely gets high marks for the canister. True. No doubt there. But the bottle itself... Let's just get a quick shot of this. Since this is an award winner... According to them, not according to ours system. Uh, but look at that. It's a great looking bottle. Which I think it means we got to put it up to the test, right? The real test? Well, maybe. But here's the rub. Um, let's, let's get ourselves a pour of this first of all because... We're yeah. actually drinking this? We should try it. If this is the best in the world, we should at least sip on it while we're talking about it. I Someone's think. already <laughs> tried it. Yeah, well, it's an open <laughs> bottle. But, um, so a couple of issues here. First of all... This is a single barrel bourbon, right? It says single barrel on it everywhere. What does that mean? That means that all this liquid came from one single barrel. It wasn't blended together or anything. This is just used from one barrel. So Jules, do you think that they used the same barrel in that competition than what's in here? I have no idea and more than likely no. Heck no, there's exactly. no way. I bought this like two years ago probably. Exactly. So. I, I asked and that's our fundamental problem, especially our friend Dylan's fundamental problem with all of these. The right? reason Dylan's not here is that he would he would be raging <laughs> yeah. right now if, yeah. if he were on we set. We actually locked him outside. <laughs> yeah, he's in the cupboard <laughs> under the stairs. some banging, that's Dylan. <laughs> um, but I guess the point is, is there a point to reviewing single barrels? If you're always going to have a little bit of variation and whatever barrel produced the juice that the spirits competition got, maybe Buffalo Trace handpicked it. Maybe right. they found a honey barrel, like, oh, right, let's bottle this up, let's keep it off to the side, and let's just submit bottles from this barrel to all the spirits competitions. Right. Is it the same as this? Probably not. I mean, there's going to be a little bit of variance uh, bottle to bottle, barrel to barrel with single barrel releases. So what's the point? Can't really compare. Anyway, it's an interesting topic. Since this is just a quick news bite, uh, if you want to hear a little more about this topic, you guys should check out our podcast because we do a deep dive into into this bourbon and this story, yeah. but also into the entire the, the concept of what's the point of reviewing a single barrel. And I think we even, uh, on one of our podcasts, we talk about the concept of whiskey competitions. We do. Yeah, that's another one. <laughs> or of our competitions podcast. in general, I think. Um, well, let's give this a quick taste because, you know, my memory of this is actually that it's, it oh. is my favorite of the Taylor lineup, mm. personally. Smells good, dude. It smells great. I'm not the biggest fan of the small batch, and I'm not the biggest fan of the barrel strength. I mean, what is I, the? Oh, it's a bottle and bond, right? Yeah, so hundred. Hundred. Yeah, this is the one that I I do like this one the it's most. Good. It's it good. is good. But it is, is this really the best good. bourbon you've ever had? It's pretty damn good, dude. No. <laughs> you know me. I'm a mark a sucker to marketing. You love the marketing, but yeah. this is not. This is not the best. Juice and it is 99 points on their hundred point scale of the IWSC, dude. Where do you 99 think would... points. <laughs> you see, I'm already thinking through all the things I would knock points off of this for. There's no oh, way yeah. this would get a 99 in our system. You know, we don't even review single barrels because of right. what we discussed in that podcast. You can, you can They're too unique, listen. too much of a unicorn. Yeah, what's the point? It doesn't help anybody, really. No. I don't think it I'll does. tell you what, the point of this episode is to check out our podcast because we do not plug that enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And you can check us out on all the major podcast providers from Apple, Google, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Cool. Do we want to give any tasting notes or not? It's good. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's sweet. That's Jules entire there tasting note. 99 I mean, points good. There's a little there's a, there's some apple. There's some nice flavors here. There's some sugar. But it, you know sugar. it has that and some apple. It has that tannic hit that I get from all the tailors on the finish that but, you know, it's like, it's really muted down, though, man. It is. It's a little, you know, 
it doesn't have a lot of body to <laughs> yeah. it. I don't know. The finish is a little short. Yeah, body. Great flavors in there. Yeah. Um, it, you know, it's not my favorite flavor profile for a bourbon, but I, I understand why people like this flavor profile. But I feel like you can get a lot of these elements in other bourbons cranked up a bit with better finish, yeah. better highlights. So I don't know. It's not going to get 99 on our system, I'll tell you that. Challenge? <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Probably not. It's a single barrel. Yeah, we're no. going to keep, we're going to stay away from those. All right, you want to take us out? Yeah. Hey, you guys, uh, hit that thumbs up if you like this episode. Be sure to subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. Check us out on our podcast, like we said before. And uh, comment below. Let us know what you think of the IWSC's ranking of uh, the world's best bourbon 99 points out of 100. And as always, stay healthy, stay safe. Stay curious. <laughs>